वेलकम टू ए लेवल केमिस्ट्री अ टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज क्रोमैटोग्राफी इफ यू रिमेंबर इन योर मिडिल स्कूल केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस एंड इन योर आई जी सी एस ईज एज वेल यू परफॉर्म एन एक्सपेरिमेंट वे यू प्लेस अ स्पॉट ऑफ ब्लैक इंक ऑन अ क्रोमैटोग्राफी पेपर एंड यू ड्रिप्ट द पेपर इन टू अ वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर एंड एज वॉटर रोज अप द पेपर इट सेपरेट द ब्लैक सेपरेटेड द ब्लैक इंक into its component colors and you saw red blue green and yellow spreading all the way to the top now this was basically one method of chromatography that you did called paper chromatography and the chromatography we are dealing with now in our a levels is far more complex than that paper chromatography so let's move forward now this is simple paper chromatography yes this is in our syllabus so you are very familiar with this we make a reference line as you can see the black line over here and we place uh, the spot of the solute mixtures on the uh, in in this case many spots of the solute mixtures on the reference line and then uh, uh, we dip it in a solvent and as the solvent rises up it will keep separating the uh, the the solute mixtures into the solute components so as you can see this chromatogram which is the finished chromatography result that we get from the experiments experiment uh, i'm sorry about the line so this this is what you call a chromatogram what i am highlighting over here and this is uh, what the components look like after the uh, after they have been separated so as you can see for these three on there is only one component that has come out which means that these three were pure compounds because obviously they they are not composed of anything but one component and in in the case of the fourth one it was separated into three components and uh, if you see the, the three components if i label them a b c and d so if you see that uh, d is composed of a b and c this is a and you can see at that, that uh, it is at the same height like this spot so this is also a and then you can see that this is b and this is also b because they are at the same height and this is c and this is also c because they are at the same height and let's mark uh, th this point e the uh, the 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 distance till which this uh, the the point till which the solvent travels called the solvent front and let's label the reference as f so the distance between the solvent front and the reference is ef as you can see and if i have to take uh, for example uh, component b so the distance travel from the reference is bd so this uh, the the so this formula uh, what i've done over here will give me the rf value for component b rf value of b in this particular solvent so let's take this solvent as solvent x so this will give me the rf value of uh, b in solvent x and rf value is nothing but the retention factor or retardation factor as it is called and it is basically the extent to which the solute travels in the solvent so for a particular solvent for example for x the rf value of b will always have a constant value that means whenever you are ca uh, carrying out uh, chromatography with x and one of the components is solute b then it will have the same rf value in in any case but the the solvent has to be same and uh, if we have another solvent y then the rf value will be different if we have another solvent z then again it will be different so the rf value of a solute for a particular solvent is always the same and by calculating rf values therefore we can we can look at tables and uh, we can we can figure out which 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 solute molecule is this i mean we can figure out the identity of that solute so this is a simple paper chromatography and this is and we have done all of this in our igcses so you shouldn't be having a problem with this however we, uh, in our a levels we are going to do something extra and um, that is delving into uh, the science behind paper chromatography the chemistry behind paper chromatography so there is something called the stationary phase 
which in this case is water and there is something called the mobile phase which in this case is the solvent.